it's here that we reiterate or restate focus remember um, um, drive home the idea that the Old Testament is not over <laughs> as as some modern day 20 the year 2024 Christians would like you to believe even the idea of thinking that is deceptive because the breakdown of the walk of Jesus the Christ the Messiah the anointed one and his anointing Breakdown is all about what he came to fulfill, walk out, for your benefit and for the benefit of the Father. Why? Well, because the law is imperfect. <laughs> the, the law is imperfect. In other words, no one before him could walk the, the law perfectly. It required and still does require components, parts that we need to do it. Like the grace and mercy of God. Like um, transparency like apologies confessions in other words professions obedience sacrifice I mean so many things that we need to fulfill the law it's not easy but it doesn't make it irrelevant. It doesn't make it of no effect. It doesn't make it something that's not needed. Why? Can you imagine an accountant taking care of your books, not abiding by the laws of mathematics? You can't say he's, he or she is under the grace of God. No, you got to get it right under the mathematics of accounting, even though today it makes you wonder if it even matters. Same thing with law. If you did damage to somebody and you have an attorney who doesn't properly represent you based upon the laws, you got problems. Or a doctor digging in to take your gallbladder out of your body or your kidneys out of your body or to, or to heal cancer within your body if they don't understand the laws of surgery it's not of no effect <laughs> it, 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 you have to be familiar with the laws of whatever it is whatever it is that you're doing war, sex. If you got a couple and, and they're not abiding by the laws of their sexual lives, that's a problem. I, th I think what people think about is limitations. And I guess within a certain In a, in a certain way that there are limitations. The laws do set limits. Because of the ordinances. Because there's the law. If you go too far or you don't go far enough. Other things are affected or effected. It's 
see, we don't we don't live intentional with other people in mind, other situations in mind, but the laws and the ordinances and the judgments do. The commandments, the statutes, and the judgments have purpose. For the protection of all of us in society, where all of us think that we all have the right to do whatever we want, notwithstanding or not thinking about or not considering anyone else. Lawful ordinances, that's the judgments. If you don't want to follow the statutes, you don't. it's like saying you don't want to follow what's prescribed. In other words, you want to win races, but what's prescribed is uh, running 26 miles a day. That's the prescription your coach may give you. Start off walking, but we got to get so many steps in per day to get ready for the marathon in a year. But you say, you know what, I know that's prescribed. Or I know that's the statute that you're giving me, but I don't believe it. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do less than that. And you lose the marathon. You may have had a better chance, now listen to me, if you did what was prescribed. But it doesn't mean you're condemned. It just means that you did less than you could have done, should have done, could have done. So therefore, you don't get the prize. That mean I don't love you. But you did less than what you you did less than you could have done. That's on you. I gave you the prescribed statute to get it done. You didn't believe it, or you didn't have the obedience to accomplish it. I want to make this as real to you as possible, because you read these things and you think that's Old Testament. No, this is life. Life. You want a degree in business, but you take no business classes and say, I can do it on my own. No one does anything on their own. So therefore, you, you, you fail the first test. No, no one does anything on their own. No one does anything on their own. You just choose the people you want to do it with. A lot of us like to choose people we can manipulate because we want to feel like we're in control and we don't want to collaborate. So we feel like we're doing it on our own because we think we're smart enough to manipulate enough people to get what we want. You're just as bad. You need the commandments, you need the statutes, you need the judgments. I'm not focused on this because I want to focus on this. I'm focused on this because God is taking us step by step from Deuteronomy 4, Deuteronomy 5, and now into Deuteronomy 6. And then he gives you a conclusion. Well, not necessarily an overall conclusion, but he gives you a, something that you think is old, that you think is New Testament, but he demonstrates it and even points it out here in the Old Testament. It's consistent. Deuteronomy 5 verse 32 says, Ye shall observe to do therefore as the Lord your God has commanded you. Yeah, it's in Deuteronomy in its Old Testament, but it still it means the same thing, don't you think? Ye shall observe to do therefore as the Lord your God hath commanded you. 
ye shall not turn aside to the right hand or to the left. Same thing in the New Testament, right? Ye shall walk in all the ways which the Lord your God hath commanded you. That ye may live and well with you and ye may prolong days in the land which ye shall possess. In other words, you will be successful, but I want you to be successful in a healthy way. Live long and prosper. Sounds like some New Testament stuff. Beloved, I wish above all things that they may that, that thou may prosper, be in health, even as thy soul prospers. New Testament. Hebrew. Greek. All interpreted in English. Verse 33. Deuteronomy 5.33. Ye shall walk in all the ways with which the Lord your God hath commanded you. That seems reasonable. That ye may live and well with you, and ye may prolong days in the land which ye shall you shall possess. The promise of the land is get why? Because they've taken the walk. They've they've taken the walk. They're they're still not in the in the bulk of the land, but they won some victories. But he's summarizing through Deuteronomy 4, 5, and 6. And he's saying, ye shall possess the land. It is a done deal. Deuteronomy 6, verse 1. Now, I want, to I want you to focus. Now, now, back in the day, these were not cut up into chapters and verses. These are scrolls. Ancient scrolls. We... Well, I say the Europeans made them chapters and verse. So Deuteronomy 6 continues a thought pattern. Now the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments which the Lord your God commanded to teach you, I want you to pay attention to the thought pattern. Forget memorizing the word and quoting the scripture. Think of it as a thought pattern for you to live out in your life. By the way, this is for my kids, my grandkids, my brothers and sisters in Kenya, my brothers and sisters in Ghana, my brothers in Bangladesh, and whoever, whomever else this helps. God bless you. We're on a journey from Genesis to Revelation. I do not know how long it's going to take. But thank you for taking the journey with us because... This is my personal Bible study. And what I'm doing is I'm sharing with you the way I study the Bible. I do word story, uh, word studies. Um, I put myself in the place of the writer as if I was in the story. The reason why is because this pertains to me, not for the purpose of putting Moses or any, other, any of the other writers on a pedestal, but how to apply it to my life. They are mentoring me, they are my jegnas, as one brother I know says, through these testimonies. So you have the commandments, the statutes, the judgments, and the testimonies, the experiences of those who have done the work. Right now, we're in a conversation about the statutes, the judgments, and the commandments. The statutes, judgments, and commandments have been mentioned since, De uh, I think, beyond Deuteronomy 4, but, um, but really, we're focused in on preparing the people to go into the promised land. Moses is not going in with them because of his own issues. Aaron is dead. Miriam is dead. A generation of leadership is gone. We are now preparing the next generation. Do not take the lessons 
lightly because God has given Moses the authority to represent him with the hand of Moses. He is demonstrating obedience by sharing with the people his testimonies of what he's learned throughout his 120 some years. This is not a small thing. In, in chapter 6, verse 1, he says, Now these, the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments, which the Lord your God commanded to teach ye, or to teach you, that ye might do in the land whither you, ye go to possess. It's no different today. There are commandments, there are statutes, there are judgments. The commandments, the statutes, and the judgments are to keep guardrails on you as you succeed. To protect you and to protect those around you. But you have to have the mindset that this, your success is not just about you. It is about ushering in the kingdom of heaven. By operating according to the kingdom of God, which are his commandments, his statutes, his judgments, walking obediently and sacrificially in his word and his ways of being. How do I know? It says it right here. Now, if you don't believe the word as it's spoken, and I'm not saying this to be sarcastic, because it, it does take a certain amount of faith to believe what is what is written by someone you don't aren't aware of. I personally believe this as the written word of God. Not that you don't believe in God. It's just this is an unusual thing to start believing in something that was written and you don't know who it was. I've had those thoughts as well years ago. But if you believe in the written word of God, I can, I can point these things out. If you don't, then you need to get revelation of that yourself. But the written word of God says, Now these, the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments, which the Lord your God commanded, now, here's, here, here's how I know it pertains to us. To teach you that ye might do in the land whither ye go to possess it. So whether, you know, I have an overall goal. I have to learn the statutes, commandments, and the judgments of my overall task. Because I want to do well. in the land in which he will show me. So I have to be obedient to learn the statutes, commandments, and the judgments of the thing that he wants me to learn. I have to. You can't be a master craftsman and not learn the statutes, the commandments, and the judgments of craftsmanship. I'm going to pound this home. No matter, you can't be an expert without learning the statutes, the commandments, and the judgments of the thing that you want to be an expert of. You have to be passionate about whatever it is. Keep in mind, I said you have to make yourself part of the story. Verse 2, that thou may fear the Lord thy God to keep all his statutes and his commandments which I had committed. He didn't say judgments. That you may fear the Lord thy God to keep all his statutes and his commandments which I command thee, thou and thy sons and thy sons' sons all the days of thy life and that thy days may be prolonged. To fear is to reverence to the point of not wanting to do wrong against. That's the way I would put it. 
the definition says that you may ref, reverence fearfully or fearfully reverence. The way I take it is that I'm, I'm afraid to break it because I don't want to disappoint the one who gave me the opportunity. To reverence someone who gives you an opportunity. So why do I want to become an expert? Because I don't want to let down the person that gave me the opportunity to excel. Now, some of you guys want to keep this in a religious state of mind. And you would be making a grave mistake. You can go to church on Sunday and get that. What I'm saying is that you have to take, eat the scroll, make it a part of your being, and make it a part of your desire of being. You want to be an expert. I spend this much time in this Bible because I want to be an expert in this particular thing because I am primarily a teacher of spiritual truths. It was not something that I just desired to be. It was something that was mandated to me in my thinking, in my mind. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. But while I'm here, I'm going to, I'm going to do word studies. I'm going to read through the Bible. I'm going to study the Bible. If not on a daily basis, it's going to be on almost a daily basis. Because I believe I have a responsibility to be excellent. And you can't do it by not studying. So I'm going to study to show myself approved. I suggest you do the same. Not only in the Word of God, and this is a life's work. That's how I was able to produce these books. These are my testimonies. Ghetto Education to Christ Culture. So I got statutes, commandments, judgments, and testimonies. Follow me here. Because this is not just about you being... By the way, you're, you're not in Haran. You're not in Canaan. You're not in Ethiopia. You're not in Egypt. You're not in Gershon. You're not in... This isn't about you being in... On the African continent. This is about you living out your life based upon the commandments, statutes, and judgments of God, even being a New Testament Christian, which is respect and love. You have to get this because being excellent is the only, is the, is the only, being an expert is the only way to fulfill your talent regardless of whatever it is. And the same rules apply if you have multiple talents, because some people have multiple talents. Then you need to become an expert at the multiple talents that you are to, 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 to fulfill your destiny. That thou might fear the Lord thy God to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command thee, though, or thou, and thy sons, and thy sons' sons, all the days of thy life, and that thy days may be prolonged. Now see, I know some of you don't get that out of this. Because you're still reading it, trying to memorize the words of God so that you can... No. This is a book of mysteries. And you have to want to see it. One of my goals is to bring people out of poverty. I know of uh, somebody I know, he says that's his goal. He wants to make 100 millionaires. Okay, my goal is to bring you out of the poverty mindset where you think that memorizing the Bible is going to bring you some kind. No, he wants you to adopt the practices of the words. 
in your daily life as a representative of him. You are made in his image. A lot, of, a lot of people love the walk of Jesus but can't walk like Jesus. Because they're not as obedient as Jesus. They don't sacrifice like Jesus. They didn't take the time to study like Jesus. But if you do these things, I believe, you can be successful in your walk. That thou may fear the Lord thy God. Fearfully reverence him by doing the commandments, the statutes. What are the statutes? Ordinances. I'm sorry, the statutes are what's prescribed for whatever situation. The statutes are what's prescribed. The judgments are the lawful ordinances. So, do what's prescribed concerning the lawful ordinances of whatever it is that you're called to do. You could be a baker, you could be a doctor, you could be a pharmacist, you could be a bus driver, you could be whatever it is you're called to be, a father, a mother, uh, an investor, a politician. But do it based upon the commandments of God. Glorify Him. Lift Him up. Let your yeses be yeses and your noes be noes. Glorify the kingdom of God by operating within those, those measurements so that we can usher in the kingdom of heaven. You're doing it based upon your talent based upon your presence. I want to get down to this part because I'm taking too long explaining this. So I'm just going to uh, read through uh, 3 through 6. Hear therefore, O Israel, and observe to do that it may be well with thee that ye may increase mightily as the Lord God of thy fathers hath promised thee in the land that flows with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is, the Lord our God, one Lord. And, verse 5, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might. Verse 6, and these words which I command thee this day shall be in thine heart. There it is. The love of God is in the Old Testament as well, summing up the love of the statutes, the commandments, and the judgments through your testimony. The commandments, the statutes, and the judgments through your testimony, your actions, your experiences. Not failures, experiences. By, by instituting and using the wisdom of God through, through knowledge and understanding, you gain wisdom. Through your experiences, through your experiences of instituting the commandments, living by the commandments, instituting the statutes and the judgments, living by the commandments and instituting the statutes and the judgments as God is giving you the talent to be a gift to the society. Study to show thyself approved to understand your part of ushering in the kingdom of heaven by living based upon the kingdom of God. It is not five steps to this, six steps to that, ten steps to your happiness, 32 steps to a great, no. Listen to, <laughs> listen to what God is sharing with you. 
Cash App dollar sign Mr. Paul Dozier. Cash App dollar sign Mr. Paul Dozier. We are on a journey from Genesis to Revelation. Thank you for taking a journey with us. If this is helpful to you, please like and share with friends, family, Bible study, business meetings. It applies to all. God bless you.